I'm Brendan from Panic at the Disco. And wow. It's K-Rock, almost acoustic Christmas, Panic at the Disco, Brendan Yuri. Hello. Ah! What's up, guys? It's the summer of 2001. <laughs> sure. I, I did hear that Beyonce put it on her vegan diet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It takes like 15 seconds to settle in. Like, oh yeah, that is me. Is that what I sound like? Ugh. <laughs> you sound great. No, you really think that of your own voice? Like, ugh. Uh, I've got the John Lennon syndrome, right? Oh he's, he's like, I don't like the sound of my voice. <laughs> <laughs> and Patrick's like, yeah, that's cool. And then he's like, yo, this is a bookstore. It's not a music store. And then they met at Patrick's house. So Patrick's wearing shorts and socks and a hat. <laughs> Patrick is playing drums for some fucking reason. This is open the bun 27 packet. Mm. I don't know what bun 27 is. Oh, we'll figure I, it out. I'm so in. I mean, it smells kind of like a burger. Does it? Already. You smell powder? That. Now it's like, oh, one song at a time, cool. Here's a song about a demon. Here's a song about church. I don't know why they're different, but here you go. So right. it's really cool, yeah. Pete said to Joe, yo, we gotta change this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> yo. It kind of smells like chicken uh, bouillon, like a bouillon cube. Sure, that's generous. Chicken broth. Yeah. That's, that's generous. generous. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Brendan Urie, everybody. It's Panic at the Disco. Is because Patrick's playing drums and he's a singer. Patrick's like, yo, I got a soul voice. And they're like, wait, how do you have a soul voice? And he's like, yo, watch this. Yeah! And they're like, oh my God, that sounds like soul. But what that means is like, it's like 80%, but that, that number means nothing because uh, at the last minute I could, you know, throw in something from 10 years ago. Right. Or just totally not release it. <laughs> <laughs> That's doing something. Mmm. Mmm. Already looks good. <laughs> Oh God, Consider the smell is, the smell is <laughs> really <laughs> delicious. And then they're like, yo, that's fucking perfect. This is Fall Out Boy. And they made records like Evening Out With Your Ex-Girlfriend. Evening Out With Your Ex-Girlfriend. Everybody loves it. It's called Evening Out With Your Girlfriend. With Your Ex-Girlfriend. It's called Evening Out With Your Ex-Girlfriend. It's called Evening Out Your Girlfriend. And it's real. And it's real and it doesn't matter. And Pete talked to Patrick and Joe, and he was like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, this is gonna be fucking dope! So they made a record. I, and I don't want to go back too far, but um, I haven't had the chance to talk to you until now. Um, your Fall Out Boy drunk history. <laughs> oh, God, dude. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen uh, the drunk history yeah. of um, Brendan basically telling the story of how Fall Out Boy formed. Yeah. It's an epic piece. <laughs> Of art. They told me they couldn't post how much I drank throughout the day because legal, from a legal standpoint, someone could poison themselves. So I, I was this- They made a list at the beginning though. They made a list, but they said we couldn't tell you how many of each thing he had because it would just be deadly. So they, they said, we'll put down the type of drink, but we won't list the number of, of drinks that you had. So that was very smart on their end, by the way, because uh, I felt yeah, terrible after that. But you weren't um, slurring though. You were just which, exuberant, and you were just telling the story. I and then they know. do the actor reenactments. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I when I was showed the next morning, I was hung over. Just <laughs> it was so terrible. Obviously, I was near death. And uh, Jack Edinger, the guy who shot it and, and and put it together, showed me a clip of it, and I was like, I don't recognize that guy. I don't know who that is. I don't know who's talking. That's not me. And uh, to this day, I st I'm just two different people. I was being generous before. It's, you were. It smelled like <laughs> bouillon, but god damn. Don't it think it's not smelled like bouillon anymore. It's <laughs> a fine bun 27. Yeah. Oh, there you are, you beautiful bastard. And yeah. killing these bitches, rapping it out. You're getting a fucking tattoo right now. What the fuck is going on? We should get signed to Fuel by Ramen. It was, it was seriously, I laughed. Yeah, go so check much. it out. Look at me near death. I, I loved Pete Wentz in the Pete Wentz wig, which was, which was. In the, in the 2005 <laughs> Pete Wentz. <laughs> <laughs> How like, great was that? It was the most amazing thing. Patrick like, and the mutton chops and the sideburn. I yeah. just... There we go. Okay, and this is... In number two. It smells more ye yeasty. Yeah. Smells yeah, like yeasty is a... <laughs> <laughs> is that the right term? I think so. Lord of the Court series sold like four million records. Ten million records. Fifteen million records. And Brendan and Yuri had nothing to do with the entire record. And Patrick was like, that's good! 
and Rob Zombie um, gave us a shout out. I heard not, not not so much a shout out. You know, it was more like. Uh, you know, I don't know about these emo skinny pants wearing sons of bit. You know, it was just, it was a lot of fun. So thanks, Rob, or sorry, Mr. Zombie, because he's old enough now. Um, you have to be cordial. You and, missed his um, um, performance. It was a lot prior to that at the <laughs> Acoustic Christmas where he dressed up as a dirty Santa Claus. Oh, man. And spit. So, but now it's essentially the, the, the same gist as eating Play-Doh as a kid. Uh, Pete was like, makeup is fucking great for a guy because... It makes a guy look beautiful, which a lot of times, a guy is not beautiful. And I wanna change that. I wanna make sure that everybody thinks that guys are beautiful. I'm good so far. Yeah, I do. Oh, fuck. All right, all right. Pete was like, "Oh man, that's a yeah." I mean, See? that's a dream. I, I'm really mad that I missed it. Now. All right, well, maybe we'll see you at acoustic, and you can one up Rob Zombie. Can he give me that? <laughs> you can like, be like, "Take this, Rob." I'm gonna bleed out of every orifice. Take oh, that's this terrible. Skinny emo pant wearing <laughs> Rob Zombie. I, but I watched this set. It was the best. Ellie, would you mind microwaving our buns? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed about this dick pic. And then I saw the dick pic and I was like, eh, it's not bad. It's not a bad dick. Let's be real. Job for a lot so of So I can kiss Ben Gibbard on the mouth, that'd be kind of nice. He's going to be up here in a few minutes, so. Kiss me, Ben. You're known for your makeout sessions. You did one oh. not too long ago. It does. Oh, it looks like cool that. And it probably out. is that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just eating <laughs> yeah, We made Rolling Stone one issue before Fall Out Boy. And Fall Out Boy made the issue right after us. And they were so pissed. They were like, yo, fuck you guys. They're like, yo, Panic has the fucking cover of Rolling Stone. Yo, fuck these dudes. We're gonna fucking go miles above. We're gonna hit every fucking continent there is known to man. But they didn't. Because they missed a second of time. Apparently, they were like, oh shit, we got every continent. And they didn't actually hit it. Dude, Pete was like, what the fuck? Oh, you didn't fucking make the continent. It's like, fuck you! So, from one of the corks tree happens, we fucking have three, four years of awesomeness. Like, people are coming on themselves because it's so big. I make out with plenty of plenty of people. As I many like, as I can. You have loose lips. That's oh, good. You know what they do. We got some people back here. Anybody up for some kissing? Yeah, I know. This dude! <laughs> I get too loud, brother. Where's, your, where's that pass? Where's that backstage pass? At? Right? We got to check you for credentials. I think credentials. he snuck back here. <laughs> well, th Please make sure onto the wax paper. Oh, you were right. The wax paper sheet. This, yeah, this has meaning. So. You, know, I, you know what? This might have... This probably has purpose. I'm going to leave That's it right there. That's me. So don't throw anything away. No. Drink and then talk about how they made two records. There you go. They made two All right. So Fall Boy was like, so Patrick's like, yo, we're going to name these records from more, or, from Under the Cork Tree and from Infinity, from, <laughs> from Infinity on High. Pete was like, yo, Fully Ado means the theatric of two. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fall Boy was like, yo, we got to take a break. That's Will so. you share a libation with me? I took many libations with you. We could do awesome. drunk history weenie roast. Should we do? Ooh. <laughs> Get the, save that camera for later. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Fred and Yuri from Panic at the Disco, everybody. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Thank you. Love. Thank you. Oh, they, um, actually, yours looks pretty good. Mine. <gasps> you know, it's smelling not as bad once the we cheese? cook the beef. It tastes like science. Mmm. That's what I want my food to taste like. <laughs> That's what you want to hear. Yeah. Come back strong. You took my beer away. What the yeah, fuck? You poured it all over yourself. Yeah, you poured out yourself, man. Oh, I'm starting to dread that we're gonna eat this. No. This is gonna this, be so good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, <that was> like... <laughs> so they made it alone together. Light them up. Alone together. Phoenix. And everybody's like, "What the fuck? You're working with this guy who fucking recorded Avril Lavigne and Pink." Just 
What the fuck is this on my shirt? Did I pick up myself? Oh god. Pete was like, yeah. Look how cute it is. It is adorable. It is adorable. Let's be real. <laughs> I say A1, okay, of rock and roll American, number one success. That's what I think. Thank you, Japan. <laughs> it, yeah, thank, thank you for this. Um,